Hi, um, this is Debbie from Knit and Deb's Nook, and I've decided to do some spinning on my Luet S51 double treadle. Um, the um, doctor said I should exercise my knees without walking, so I bought a little bicycle that I can pedal while I'm sitting watching TV and such. So I thought, you know what, I may, 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 might as well put the that knee movement to use and do some spinning. So I'm gonna do some spinning for you. And yammer a little bit if I can. <laughs> I have a um, woolly winder on this spinning wheel. And so it winds and moves the yarn over so the bobbin fills evenly. So I don't have to stop the wheel and move my yarn as it's spun and fills up its spot. Um, I'm not sure what wool this is. It's some colored stuff I got at sheep, Wisconsin Sheep and Wool one year. It's kind of blue and gold, silver. It's kind of pretty, very soft. Um, not sure what I'll make when I get it done. It's just really pretty. It gets a little muddy, and when I ply it, it might get muddier. Uh, with crochet, I may be able to crochet it single, um, but with knitting you have to double ply because otherwise you'll have, especially in circular knitting, you'll have the stitches kind of going in a circular move when you're doing things. And oh, I guess I better pay attention. I'm a little putting a little bit too much spin, not releasing. But I hope this gives you an idea of how yarn is spun, how it used to be all spun. Now it's all done on machines, but, and this is a modern wheel. Um, my husband is downstairs tweaking the electric spinner he's made me so that, you know, when my knees are bad, which I hope they don't go back, the shots of cortisone or whatever it was in my knees really helped. So he told me to, the doc, rheumatologist told me to exercise just my knees by um, bicycling or laying on my back and bicycling in the air, holding my legs out straight in front of me, sitting in a hard chair until it hurts, you know. He said that'll strengthen them in order for me to walk straight again because when I was limping, it created the unevenness and that's when bursitis happened. So that's what uh, he diagnosed my knee problems with, bursitis. So they've been doing really good. Yesterday I did a lot, a lot of up and down the steps doing laundry and I noticed they hurt a little bit, but I hadn't been doing my bicycle. So I might as well kill two birds with one stone, right? As I'm spinning, I'm watching Seta drive through British Columbia. It's very beautiful. I mean, I have the volume down and just watching the scenery makes it rather enjoyable and seeing what she's seeing parts of the country I will probably never see in my lifetime. But you never know, once my husband's retired, we could go and visit Seta. Wouldn't that be great? <laughs> Seta from Seta's Place. If you aren't subscribed to her, you should. She's driving cross country from Virginia to Alaska. And she said she'll be in Alaska tomorrow. But very beautiful countryside. She hit a little snow and now it looks like it's raining, but you can see the mountains in the background covered with the clouds. And it's pretty neat. She saw a fox. Now she looks like it's a gravel road. <laughs> oh such a rustic area you know nothing for miles and miles and miles but so beautiful nope she's back on blacktop must just must have been some rough construction there oh my goodness the mountains but it sure makes spinning more pleasant oh i let's see <laughs> i have some shout outs i'll do that in another video but I will um, do that later this week. I had my uh, friend come over that I donated the headbands to her. She's undergoing chemotherapy and 
She didn't lose her hair, which is nice. So she wanted headband versus hat. So I surprised. I picked. She picked up the yarn for one. I made it, and then I surprised her with a couple more, and she was just tickled. But I don't know where I was going with that. <laughs> but anyway, that was nice, and I did um, do an inventory of my hats and scarves for adults and teens and children and preemies and. I was surprised. I haven't heard back from the gal who said her church buys hats. So I was going to donate them to give, they do street ministry to the homeless, and I haven't heard back from her. So I contacted a local church real close by, and they have a food, um, food pantry once a month. And he does, they do ministry... They pray for certain schools and stuff. So they last year asked for people to donate hats and mittens. I, I wasn't prepared. So this year I, I let him know I have children's hats and scarves. And he is just tickled. Um, so I'm going to be focusing on that until I hear back about where to donate the hats. Um, I really want to go to a Christian organization, not just take it to the homeless shelter or local um, food pantry. I want my hats to be served up with Christ's love. You know what I mean? <laughs> I know people that but that go don't go to church ones need them too. But if you know if people are going to go out in the street, that's really where my heart is if I were able to go out in the streets anymore I would certainly do it so fill in my bobbin here oh, I don't know if you knew this but if you just watch uh, YouTube's on your TV set you can pause if with your remote if you can pause with your remote you can um, scroll over scroll over with your arrow key to the left to the very edge where and then it'll have another place where you can click and you can move over and like or dislike the video with your TV remote. For those of you who watch on TV and instead of your phone or um, pad so you can like and dislike from your TV if you didn't know that. I found that out not too um, recently. So now I can watch and like without commenting. I like to comment when I can when I'm watching on my iPad. But uh, on the big screen, it's awesome to see YouTubes, and especially when it's a tutorial to see those stitches better than what, trying to watch on an iPhone. <laughs> oh, well, what else? Oh, I'm knitting also again. I'm knit. One sock for my husband. He wears a size 13 wide shoe, and store socks usually are size 10 to 12. And then, I mean, some of the stores are getting better about the larger sizes going above 12. So I have custom knitting him, and I'm using um, worsted weight. So it's knitting pretty quick on a size 7 circular needles. I, I only do one at a time. I got one completely finished and it fits him like a glove for his foot. So I now I'm in the foot part of the second one. I got the toe all done and working on the foot before I get to the heel. I found a nice pattern that doesn't have you wrapping and turning, which I like. Then you don't have to go back and pick up those wrap stitches. Just makes it quicker. Um, well, maybe I'm done yammering. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I enjoyed showing you my spun yarn. I'll stop the wheel so you can see what I've spun up. And this is this is the yarn or the wool. There's blue and gold. That one section is all blue, but this has got um, gold, blue, 
little bit of white in there, even some pieces of weeds. <laughs> and I always pre-draft pre my wool rovings to get it down to a manageable size, and then I do it, draft it down smaller before it's spun. So thank you for watching. Like, subscribe, and share if you like. Thank you.